Hey loves, okay, my day may start off a little rough, but it always ends with a bang. Whether I'm doing some fabulous makeup, slaying some hair, or just doing some DIY, which I love the most. I have to throw in a little home decor, and hey, let's transform everything. I'm ready to whip this body into shape. So if you want to be here for the transformation and want to make transformations with me, subscribe and come along for the ride. It's just me, and this is the epitome of London. Hey loves, I'm back and it's with another tutorial. This one is an impromptu one. I had a friend come in from out of town just to get her hair done after a weave removal that went wrong. So a lot of her hair ended up being uneven and there was no way for her to actually style it without doing the big chop again. So we decided that we were going to just install some hair and crochet was the best way to do it. She had just relaxed the top of her hair maybe a night or two prior, which I did not know. And this made braiding the hair a little harder for me to grip. And I didn't want to use um, extensions and just kind of grip it too tight. Now the rubber bands probably do look like they're as tight as uh, some cornrows would be. But in fact, it's not. And I like that it allowed me to get right to the base of the scalp without exerting too much tension on her hair. So right now I'm just sectioning it and I'm going to do it all going back, which is the same pattern I would have done if I was braiding it. So there's really not a whole lot to describe for this part, but this is definitely a great technique if you're not a braider and you're doing a small area where you want to apply um, crochet extensions. So I'm going to be quiet and I'm going to let you finish watching this tutorial. Now once I've got her entire head done, I just went ahead and connected them all to the back and just did that little tiny ponytail there that you see. None of that is going to show when I start to install the weave here. So I'm in installing the crochet just as you normally would. There's no fancy technique. Um, I did loop it more than three times, probably about four or five times, just to secure it and make sure that it doesn't slide out since we're going to be cutting this really, really short. Um, she wanted kind of like the full look on top that you see in a lot of the Pinterest pictures, but not something that was too overwhelming for her face um, or that did not look natural. So this is the hair that we're using, the Kima braid, and this is in the color 1B, I believe. Or no, I lie, it's in the color number one. You can get this hair in any of your local beauty supply stores. And right now, as I'm knotting the hair, I am going ahead and giving it shape at the same time. I don't want to just install it and then try to shift it. I like to kind of lay it in the direction that I would have it to go so that I know when I've reached the amount of crochet that I need to put in. Too much could become too full and then we'll have her looking like a high top fade and that was definitely not the look that she was going for. Now as I get into this area, I'm being sure to split this hair or create like a little bit of a divide. So once I loop it, I separate the hair down the middle so that I can have hair going in both directions. And this can also camouflage the knots. Then with a little back home and just to ensure complete coverage, I'm just going to tease it just solely at the roots. Be certain not to do too much because you don't want to cause tangling and mat. 
Now we were originally going for a little bit of a fuller look on top, not too tall, but definitely full. But once I got into the actual cut, and if you can see towards this back hair, the hair, her actual natural hair is cut pretty high. She initially had a mohawk down the center of her head. She attempted this same style through another stylist, but they used glued in tracks. And so when she removed them herself, she actually ended up breaking off a lot of her own hair. And a lot of times it's not really the glue, it's just in the process of removal. And if you don't do it correctly or you yank them out or you don't actually use the proper products to remove them, it could cause breakage. So because that ended up happening and it had the back of her hair patchy, I had to go as close as I could to even it out and then bring the top of the crochet down to meet it. So this is the reason why it is as small as it is because I wanted to be able to accommodate her head and the natural hair profile. So as you see here, because it was so low in that back area, I was unable to leave the center back of it very full in order to blend it. So that's why it has that graduated look. Um, I think it was a better look honestly for the shape of her head. Um, as you can see here a little bit better so I just kind of went with the natural curve of her head and this is the finished look tell me guys what do you think well my loves I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope it was a little something different from the norm and if you would like to see more of these you know what to do subscribe share like and comment and as always until next time bye loves